using Green's theorem to derive the formula of area of circle a equals to pi r square. Uh, you, you basically know the area of the circle with radius r uh, that's pi r square and we will derive this using Green's theorem. If you don't know about Green's theorem, uh, let me just state it, state it over here. Green's theorem. Okay. So now what this theorem states is yeah. so if uh, if a domain D uh, belongs to a plane, uh, let's say we have a domain D over here in a plane, yeah, and uh, its boundary we call that partial derivative of D. You can make sense because uh, this area basically. The derivative of the area is kind of line that that boundary line again makes sense like that. And if this be uh, a bounded domain, bounded domain. Yeah. Sorry. And uh, uh, with oriented boundary, that means uh, we'll consider the boundary in some direction. With oriented boundary, if you are feeling that it's going slow, you can watch in 2x as well. With oriented boundary, and uh, with uh, and the boundary is partial derivative of uh, the domain, and then uh, for some scalar vectors p and q which are differentiable which are differentiable uh, on all of the domain on all of domain if this is the case in this case uh, Green's theorem states that what Green's theorem state is uh, the line integral the line integral over uh, this uh, over this uh, boundary the line integral over the boundary of p dx plus q dy or uh, this is equal to double integral over this entire domain so this is basically line integral over boundary and this is our entire domain a double integral of a derivative of q with respect to x minus derivative of p with respect to y yeah and dx dy that means da so this is what green's theorem states and we're going to use this uh, to find the area of circle and uh, how do we do that basically you can see a uh, or d over here so we are going to use this in some way so let's say uh, we have a circle over here in a plane and its center uh, let's say that that is x naught comma y naught yeah. its radius be r in that case uh, this point over here uh, that will be what r cos theta comma r sin theta but also unit its center yeah that will basically be uh, x naught plus r cos theta y naught comma r sin theta yeah. and theta is basically going from 0 to 2 pi yeah and l let's try to find this eighth area so basically uh, we will try to what we will try to do is we will basically use the domain of the function as uh, this e its area and in this domain we will try to find the double integral da so for that if the domain is uh, this uh, domain of this circle and this thing over here if it's one in the, in this domain calculating da will give its area yeah? and to make it one so basically if we put q as x and p as let's say zero in this case uh, this would be one minus zero so one da that will give the area so in that case uh, this should be a uh, line integral over the boundary and p is 0 q is x so x dy 
we can also find this p in uh, a line integral over the boundary of x dy will also give us the area of circle this 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 implies from the green's theorem yeah and now if you want to uh, take the line integral over the boundary uh, what can we do we can basically parameterize this equation in terms of theta yeah in terms of theta uh, these boundary points are basically just x naught plus r cos theta, y naught plus r sin theta. Yeah, and uh, so uh, to find this, what we can do is uh, we can basically let theta go from zero to two pi. Yeah, and then uh, make this uh, make uh, the uh, substitute x as this value y as this value that does the work yeah and uh, this is x naught plus r cos theta and dy will be uh, r cos theta and then d theta and that does the work yeah and now and this is integral from 0 to 2 pi of x naught r cos theta plus r square cos square theta d theta. Now these two are constants, and the integral of cos theta over entire domain from zero to two pi. That's just a complete thing, and these two cancel each other out. That's why it, it it's zero, yeah. And for this, so we use the uh, uh, trigonometric formulas. Yeah, solve double angle formulas. Yeah, and that gives us one plus cos two theta by two. Now again, if we distribute this sum in the portion where there is cos two theta, that will again go to zero. So only the other portion remains. The other portion is uh, this the one r square times one by two, and then this is d theta. Yeah, sorry, d theta. Now we get r square by 2 times theta, theta going from 0 to 2 pi, and that gives us r square by 2 times 2 pi, which is pi r square. And that's the area. How do you like this idea? Did you enjoy this video? Uh, I do hope you enjoyed the idea. Yeah, and uh, that made sense and uh, it was helpful thanks for watching look forward to seeing in the upcoming videos too